Oak Street begins where Coslany Street in blue ends and it ends where St Martin's Road in red begins, effectively at the old city wall boundary. This video will concentrate on its yards as well as taking in other interesting sites. Some new yards recall former names whereas others, like Indigo Yard, do not. Beginning with the view of St Miles Church from Indigo Yard, this is the equivalent view from what was, in 1939, known as Dial Yard. An entrance to Dial Yard was behind that truck, and this is inside Dial Yard in 1937. I don't know why the name was changed to Indigo. Towards the other end of this same building, and through that arch, was Tunge Yard. Both this and Dial Yard were demolished as part of a 1930s slum clearance programme with displaced people moving to brand new council houses. In 1938, the former Eight Ringers pub opposite still bore that name despite having closed 25 years earlier. The 2023 view looks like this. Next door, Scholars Court is the site of the former St Miles School. The historic photo dates from 1990 and advertising on the building states that these apartments were then new. Still on the eastern side of Oak Street, where this housing is currently, was the Greenland Fishery Pub and Yard, the yard containing two homes and cleared in the 1930s. Opposite is Buck's Yard. I don't have a historic comparison, but there was an earlier incarnation of Buck's Yard on this site. This is the entrance to Unicorn Yard, which is in exactly the same location as the original Unicorn Yard through that arch. The yard taking its name from the Unicorn Pub on the right of this 1938 photo. The pub ceased trading in 1968. Nearby, this is New Mills Yard, which was historically in a very similar location to the right-hand side of this building and just out of the picture. This is St Mary's Works, formerly the site of Sexton, Sun and Everard Shoe Factory, based in this location from 1916 to 1976 when it became a laundry and it's now a gym and has other uses. Before this, however, within this site were Gaze Yard and Dolphin Yard, the latter taking its name from a pub which had closed by 1887. The very end of St Mary's Works had previously been housing in Bream's Yard, this access strip still remaining as shown in yellow on this 1885 map. Next door is St Martin at Oak Church which lost its tower to bomb damage in 1942 and was subsequently used as a parish hall, a night shelter and in 2023 is Wharf Music Academy. Next and leading up to the Inner Link Road we have Arabian Horse Yard looking through into Oak Street. And in 2023, we have these buildings on Oak Street, which in 1938 had been the site of Little Arabian Horse Yard. Opposite, this is the White Lion Pub as seen in 1986. Through that door was White Lion Yard, also known as Bloom's Yard, as a Mr. Bloom traded there. This is the 2023 equivalent. Back on the east side of the street, this was the Bess of Bedlam pub, seen in 1936, long after its closure. Go through those gates, and this would be the scene facing you, Bess of Bedlam Yard. A little further along, we meet the Inner Link Road, where this building sat in 1936, the Railway Arms. Through that arch was Fellmonger's Yard. By 1938, the pub had been replaced and renamed back to its original name, Fellmonger's Arms. At the same time, Fellmonger's Yard was demolished. Immediately beyond the Inner Link Road are these buildings, where signs recall original yards. Firstly, this is the original entrance to Dog Yard, which stood behind the buildings fronting the street, and looked like this just before 1930s slum clearance. Also, this is Talbot's Yard, seen here in 1919. Nearby, the Talbot Square Hebrew Cemetery was discovered when slum clearance took place in 1936. Nearby was Baldwin's Yard, this picture looking through onto Oak Street. 
and Goat Yard, which was possibly named after a local shopkeeper, William Goat. All these yards were behind these buildings, seen from the opposite direction in 1935, with the 2023 equivalent view looking like this. This narrow passage was called Jenkins Lane. To the left of it is this building, and this site looked like this in 1936. Go through that gap and you would find Old Brew Yard looking like this and like this looking back towards Oak Street. This photo was taken 12th of July 1937, a wash day. Yes, it was a Monday. Opposite on the present day site of the Benjamin Foundation was 103 Oak Street seen here in 1937. Down that passage was the delightfully named Ragged School Yard, named because during the 19th century a Sunday school for the benefit of the poor people's children was maintained here. Next door, Key and Castle Yard is made up of modern housing, but this was the site of the Key and Castle pub, and access through that arch was the original Key and Castle Yard, as seen here in 1937. Look across Oak Street from this point and this is the 2023 view which was the site of the Royal Oak Pub from 1806 to 1940. To the right is the entrance to Royal Oak Yard and the other end of this entrance passage looked like this in 1937. Behind the photographer the yard opened up into a larger square. Back across to the west side of Oak Street looks like this it looked like this in 1938 and behind this location was Robinson's Yard as seen in the 1800s and Sadler's Yard, this photo dating from 1937. The Suffolk Arms pub at number 119 had closed in 1907, 30 years before this photo. Through the passage to the right was, not surprisingly, the Suffolk Arms Yard pictured in 1937. George Plunkett says this is the former flower pot pub. He should know, but the pub was behind Oak Street and not as this appears to be. It does, however, have an arch to the right, which appears to be a similar shape to this photo, which is of flower pot yard. Interesting photos, whatever. This picture, taken from just into Sussex Street, shows that same building being demolished in 1955, with the Great Hall dating from 1480 to the right. The Great Hall, a medieval traders hall, is seen here in 2023. Also looking from Sussex Street, this development site was once the location of the Buck until it closed in 1942, this picture from 1920. Although this development on the corner of Sussex Street is described as Angel Yard, it's actually on the site of the former Sussex House the original Angel Yard being further to the south. This is the old Dun Cow seen here from the point where Oak Street joined St Martin's Road with this picture looking from behind the former pub after its 1971 closure. Find me a list of every yard I could find on Oak Street for some of which there were no photos. <laughs>